Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be playing SnowRunner. We are in the Antonovsky Nature Reserve, which is in Don, Russia. And we have brought with us the uh, Zixi 605R. And if you guys haven't checked it out, I have another video, actually two of them, on the new Jeeps. Well, one of them is actually on the Jeeps, the second one is exploring the other map in one of the jeeps but we're just gonna roam around and see what we can find on this map ouch not a good way to start it off and uh... yeah this is a pretty big vehicle but i know this thing's uh... very very good so i just got it like two days ago so i'm gonna try and see sort of testing it out still I think I've only delivered like one cargo with it because I haven't really played this. What do we got over here? Old tractor? Looks like this is the edge of the map this way, so... But look at how easy it just rolled through that. Oop. Yeah, this thing is just a beast. This is our scout vehicle for this, uh, whoa. Scout vehicle for this area. I was going to say, let's see if we can climb this. And we can. Nice. Alright done wasting time with that. These are some pretty weird tires though too. They're like tall but skinny. Which most vehicles, if you have those kind of tires, they just seem very tippy. But this one is like super stable. Man, I've already taken a lot of engine damage. I think that's 27 now, something like that. I haven't really seen too much. That river looked kind of cool. It's a nice little crossing there. Is there even any watchtowers on here? Okay, one. So about the same as the last map. Actually, it's not about the same. It is the same. I'm guessing they're expecting you to bring that prototype, I think it's called prototype exploration unit or something in here. Which obviously I did not. People just like getting tractors stuck in the mud on this map, I guess. Let's see what we can find back off in this direction. I suppose this is a nature reserve, so it's it's probably not going to be very much like houses and towns and that kind of stuff. It's probably more rural. Looks like we got a flipped over trailer up here. And some sort of building I can see. What do we got here? Alright, so that is a trailer we can get, which is cool. Means we can use it and then sell it. Or just sell it, I guess. Let's go and check out what we got in this place. I have no idea what this is. Lumber yard? Looks like a lot of lumber. Yeah. Definitely a lumber yard. I saw the big stacks on the left over there. Let's go out this direction. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll make sort of a loop around. See what we can find. See if we can fit through here. Nope, just some more engine damage. There we go. 
Is that the, that's not the watchtower. It was more in the middle. I thought it was for a second. What do we have here? Some kind of radio? Radio tower? And what is this? Oh, a, like a train station? Oh, I'm just taking engine damage left and right. Let's see, what do we even got here? Cement? I think I actually need that for one of the missions that I'm on. I should check. And I'll do it later. We got a little village or something over here. Ooh, an upgrade. The not so good thing about having a huge vehicle, like a 12 point turn, but it's obviously, well, in my opinion, it's going much faster with this than with a scout, just because it can go through rougher terrain. Let's see. So it's kind of off in the back corner of the map. Looks like because we've found the edge. What is this for? Oh, it's only for the Tatra Phoenix. Engageable. Nice. Speaking of that, we gotta find both the Phoenix and the Force. We haven't found either one. I should have set the time to morning when I came in here. Oh, there's a bridge. I wonder if it's crossable. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll just go this way. I think we'll try and cross right just across here. Right up here on the left we'll go across. Right about here looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, that wasn't bad. We've got some some sort of building here, I didn't even notice this. It's like a little town. What is this? Can't see. Yeah, it looks like some sort of a town. Whoop. More engine damage. Those things are huge. Those wheel things. Cords or wire or whatever it is. Tubing. Hey, that looks like, uh, I forget which one it is, the Phoenix, right? Oh, it's a broken one. I think. I guess we'll see if we can get it. Yeah, I don't think we can get that thing. probably used for a mission just like the uh, Azov mission that I'm on in, in the factory grounds. Um, should we go across here? We'll try. Yeah, this thing is just a beast.
Making light work of this, man. Very light work. So can we go on that bridge? Well, if not, we could turn here and go across. I don't know if we can use that bridge, so we'll just go across. I'll end up trying these bridges later, probably off camera, but I don't know how many of them we can cross. I feel like they probably have a bunch of junk or something. Most of the time the bridges aren't complete, it seems like, so. That is a weird uh, little building over there. I don't know what that lag was about. Is that a fuel trailer? I'm not sure if that's one we can use or if that's a... Uh, nice, it is. Cool. You're coming with me, buddy. Not that I really even need it, but... I usually just grab them and drag them along with me towards the center of the map because most of the time these sort of spawn towards the corners of the map it seems like like further away you know so I, I sort of drag them back to the middle well I was gonna say I don't know if that's even the best place to really go off-road but there's a road right over here so We'll get back on track here. Whoa, what what did we hit? Oh our our gas tank hit something. That makes sense. Alright, well we'll come back and get that later. What is this? Is this another logging camp? I see some logs. It is. Interesting. Okay, more engine damage. We'll try and get back on the road here. There we go. But what do you guys think of the new update? Anybody who's played it? Do you have the Tatra Phoenix and the Tatra Force? I haven't done a single mission on this yet. I've just explored the last map and explored this map and then probably tomorrow or later on today I'll be playing a few of these missions. Some port bodies appear, a little electrical shack or something. Wait. Ah, I was going to say that outpost should be around here. Dang it. Oh, that, see that railroad does look blocked off. So I think we made the right choice of trying not to follow them. I hate when it changes the camera angle. Well, I can see it now. I'm just going to turn it today so it's uh, more pleasant to watch. Wow, that's bright. Oh, come on. There we go. I think I'll go to the left here and there should be a little path through the trees. Yeah, there we go. Man, the thing barely fits. Oof. Perfect. I'm kind of lucky that this had a nice uh, big path coming up. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have made it. Uh, 
tried to go a little faster. Didn't really work. It's a little too steep for that, I guess. Oh, wow. This is quite the view here. This is a really good spot for a watchtower. Yeah, it's kind of a central view of the whole map. It's nice. I'm going to pull up the map here in just a second, kind of just looking at what it's bringing up for us. Alright, let's look. Not all that much, actually. But I think we'll go down to this road and then we'll take a left and kind of go over here. So that's that's the edge of the map because I, I tried clicking it over here and it doesn't do anything. So we'll kind of go towards that dot, make our way back up towards the top, and that'll be it. Back on the road. Put it back into auto so we can go a little faster. Whoa. Jeez. Seems like everything I do, I'm taking engine damage. I'm not taking really, uh, you know, gas tanks or tires or anything else out. I'm pretty much just taking engine damage. I'm gonna go a little bit more engine damage. Look at that. I'm gonna go a little bit around this because this thing is so big, it's kind of hard to fit through some of the trees. So I'm, I'm gonna stick to the road for this part. But as far as my gameplay goes, um, so I beat the main game, Michigan, Alaska, and Tamir, Russia, and I've completed one map of, uh, I want to say Amir, but that's, I don't think that's right, Lake Cobb, oh no, Kola Peninsula, that's, that's the one. And then I, I skipped ahead to go get this vehicle to use for this kind of stuff. So I just got it back a few days ago. And so I played part of the Erska River and then uh, Cosmodrome. But I haven't beaten all the missions or... You know, I still have quite a bit to go on those two. I'll probably end up beating all the missions on... At first I thought that was like a house with graffiti on it or something, because it kind of with black spots. What is this? Looks like some sort of a monument or something that's cool. I forgot what I was saying, though. Um... Yeah, totally lost it, whatever I was saying. Oh, I think I was talking about what I'll, I'll be playing. So yeah, I'll beat this part, these two maps here from Phase 5, and then I'll probably go all the way back to Phase 1, which would be uh, the Kola Peninsula, and I'll beat the second map on there. And then I'll go on to phase two and phase three and phase four. Whoa. Alright, we found a rock slide. Do you need cement? Tool trailer. Okay. Well, I don't got that. So we're gonna have to go around. I didn't even realize I'm not really following my cursor right now. I started going back towards the top. Well, I mean I guess my cursor's at the edge of the map anyways, that's the furthest away road. So yeah, we're Pretty much did a whole loop. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.